All right, hey guys, looks like we're gonna have a breeze. Well, looks like we're gonna have a blow for uh, a few days. And I'm always looking for something to do. So I think I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a hammock. Uh, all from stuff that I have found uh, on the beaches. So I'm gonna go over what I found. First off, we're down here in the Bahamas and I found this fishing net. It looks to be about 12 feet long and about four feet wide. So that's my netting I don't have to deal with. Making one. Found this crab buoy trap back in Marathon. It was uh, up on the beach also. You see that? I found this nylon knot line. And then for my for the end pieces, I found this over on uh, the Skyway Bridge rest area and it looked like from a surfboarder a uh, kite surfer guy and I guess they had broken one of the lines and they took it off and they left it there so I've got that line and I'm gonna try to put this all together and see if I can make a, uh, a hammock for the boat the one we have is uh, falling apart from the Sun and so what can do wish me luck <clears throat> So I weave this uh, crab trap line through this netting on the outside row. But these, let me get real close to that. These are all fuzzy. I'm afraid they're going to come untied. So I'm using a little mini torch. Kind of dresses it up, but also I think it keeps it from coming unfrayed or untied from being afraid. But I've weaved this in and out, in and out. And uh, I gotta figure out how long it needs to be. Maybe six foot, eight foot, maybe nine foot on the net. Well, we're gonna get one end completed and then we'll change the size of it from the other end. So what I'm doing on the outside row of this, I'm running my this crab trap line and it's gonna hold the weight the whole thing. I'm going in one side, out the other. So I'm gonna run this all the way about, I don't know, halfway down this. I don't need the whole net, so I'm gonna wait till I get to the that particular part to figure out how long I'm gonna make it. But I'll run that through there like that. Dress up these uh, knots again, and then I'm gonna tie a line all the way around this to keep it secure. So the next thing I'm doing is I've got the I've got my net on here. I'm taking this kite string with a uh, large sewing needle that I had. I'm gonna sew this on by opening up there was the, this three-stranded line. Run this line around. And I'm gonna sew like a half, half a hitch or half knot. I don't know what you want to call it. Actually, I'm gonna just tie a knot. Just like that. Gonna do it on every every other knot. <clears throat> that should hold me together. So 
the next thing I'm doing on here, I'm going to tie these ends, all these loops. I'm going to run them all up to be the same length. And that'll give me, uh, keep it stretched out straight. So. Just like that. And then I gotta do all the rest. We'll be good to go. So making a loop on the end, lashing all of this together. I've got all my uh, ends of my netting right up. All I'm doing is flipping around that through it. So I got the uh, second end done, not finished, but um, I took the end of my line and I spliced it there. So that's where I'll be wrapping that lacing around to reinforce it. And we're almost done. I got my hammock done. It's kind of windy out here. So. I had to use these uh, dowel rods that I had found. Somebody was tossing out at the dumpster. Just spread that out a bit. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Got my hammock done. It's kind of windy out here. So, it, I had to use these. Uh, dowel rods that I had found somebody was tossing out at the dumpster just spread that out a bit 